Morning guys, it's Sunday here in beautiful Sydney. The weather's looking delicious. We're about to head off on a bit of a day trip with Timo. We're gonna go first hit up a, um, a greyhound meet and greet. Yep, meet all his uh, friends in Sydney. He likes getting out and about with other greyhounds and uh, meeting some new friends. Yeah, and after that we're gonna pack up and head out and check out Lake Parramatta. We've seen a couple of tips that it's um, nice little walk there and, and we'll go and check that out and yeah. uh, if we've got some time as well we're going to try and squeeze in a, um, a bit of a build video of the FJ so um, give you guys a look at how we travel how we load it up how we fit old mate here into it so stick around Despite his uh, athletic physique, old mate Timo, he doesn't like jumping into the car, so he needs a two-stage lift to get him in there. What a prince. Before you go to sleep Keep up, I shine 
So this group meets every Sunday from what we can gather and um, it's at the Korean War Memorial in Moore Park. So if you're in southeast inner Sydney, interested in coming down to have a bit of a run with the rest of the Greyhounds, then um, yeah, it looks like that's a go. What, what's the Facebook page that we found the group on? Uh, inner City Greyhounds. So we've just had a lovely walk. A bit of a play and a run around with all Simo's greyhound friends. Good turnout today. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are we up to now? Gonna go to, uh, what is it, Parramatta Lake? Parramatta Lake, I think, yep. Have a look around there. Have a look around. And Simo's already lagging. Simo's um, walking a bit slowly on the way back. He had a bit of a run, hopefully, um, I can squeeze that iPhone video into this one and have you know, a bit of a look how he has his one minute dash for the day. Mm -hmm. So we'll catch you again on the road to Parramatta Lake. Alright, so we've arrived at Lake Parramatta. We came in the conventional way and it was just an absolute traffic jam in there. It's so busy. A beautiful, beautiful day outside today, so I think everyone's trying to make the most of it and get in there. So we nearly gave up, but we found another sneaky way in, having a look at Google Maps just off, I think it's North Rocks Road or something. Yeah. So I'll mark that on the map over here if anyone's interested and it's ever jammed, don't give up. There's another way and Looks like there's a sweet little walking track straight into the lake behind us, so we'll go check it out. before where we were saying it was really busy is over there so there's a big park and the main area of um, where you'd park your car but it's just jam-packed so we've come through a little sneaky um, <laughs> entrance through this back area here <laughs> Thank you. 
What you doing? We just got passed by a couple of pretty hardcore looking mountain bikes. Boys look like they're having a bit of fun. But um, yeah, we've just made it to the other side. You can see the car park up there was where we were trying to fight for a spot before. But yeah, as I said, much, much quieter on the other side. Good little sneaky spot. So stopping for a little rest. See you soon. Pretty awesome that you can bring your dogs to a spot like this as we were saying in the intro video obviously national parks and that it's a no-go but there's still plenty of spots that you can get out into the bush into nature and share the time with your dogs he absolutely loves it <laughs> even though he's not the most athletic or agile of beasts but um yeah it's a great day lake Parramatta. so we've sent a fair few dogs some mountain bikes, not a lot of wildlife yet, some little birds floating around, pretty cool. It's um, a lot bigger than we were thinking actually, there's lots of little tracks and uh, I think we've been dawdling a bit too much playing around with their camera gear and stuff to be honest. Normally um, before we started filming all this stuff we would have probably been full lap down back in the car and, and back home but uh, we're trying to force ourselves to take in the scenery a bit more and slow down and enjoy it so we'll see how that works out I'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger step by step the clock is ticking but there's no time for me So it's really incredible, you know, in Sydney, there's just these really big open areas that you can go to, you know, in the middle of suburbs, which you just wouldn't even believe. Like, look at this view. Whew. I need a beer after this one, that's for sure. I don't even know, it seems like this uh, loop never ends. I wonder how, <laughs> how long it actually is, we didn't look it up. I'm gonna have to have that awkward moment of uh, do we turn back or push on? Magic spot, loving it.
So the most common thing we get asked with having a greyhound is, you know, like they're going to outrun you or, you know, they've got lots of energy, they must be able to walk forever. Look at him. <laughs> He's got no, no stamina. He's exhausted. He's a big couch potato. We will fly above the sky. So we've just stopped off at one of the awesome lookouts around Lake Parramatta and this thing's just absolutely panoramic. I think we'll have to bring uh, a bit of a picnic lunch or something next time, babe. What do you reckon? Yeah, it'd be great. What does Timo think so far? He's tired now. Had he's, enough? He's had a good time. Come on, yeah. Plenty of people here today, that's for sure. How good is this? All right, we're going to start heading back now. We um, pretty dismal effort to be fair. I think we made it about a quarter of the way. But um, great introduction to Lake Parramatta. We'll definitely be back. The place is awesome. The weather's magic today. Just great to get out of the apartment, to be honest, and back in the bush. Maybe just not a greyhound play date beforehand. Yeah. yeah. Probably a little bit and, ambitious. Yeah. If you've got a lazy greyhound like us. <laughs> You'll know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Classic. For some reason, Timo just seems to attract all the, uh, all the little dogs that just absolutely love running up to him at 100 miles an hour. But thankfully, he's pretty good. He doesn't, doesn't normally react. So being that we're pretty new to Sydney, we'd love any of your tips on other awesome dog friendly bushwalks, nature exploration trails, anything that's um, that's close. We're in sort of the southeastern inner city, I guess you could say, around Alexandria Way. Um, but we're always on the lookout for cool places to go. I think our favourite so far, Jade loves Kernel Beach, don't yeah. you? Yeah, Timo loves it. It's a huge open. Uh, beach area that he can run and the the water is very calm so he will walk quite far in there and have a little swim um, he's usually a little bit cautious if we take him to the beach where there's waves so um, yeah we really like it down there it's nice and calming No, this is not filmed in slow motion. This is the end of the track. And this is the real pace of a greyhound. What have you done there? You've done yourself a mischief, mate. So there's not much better. Finish a bit of a hike with the dog, come back and 
have your own cold beverages just sitting in there. So that's the end of the walk, guys. Lake Parramatta. Awesome day for it. Epic. Definitely worth a look. Top tips for Lake Parramatta? Um, get a dog that can walk the whole way. <laughs> No, it was awesome. There's just, it's so beautiful and it's way bigger than um, I imagined. Um, so, yeah, very, definitely worth a look. What about uh, appropriate footwear? <laughs> probably uh, probably could have done a better job with the old shoes, to be honest. Yeah. Bit Timo, Timo did pretty good, actually. I'm quite proud of him. He, he's probably walked twice as far as he normally would without protesting, so he was obviously having a good time. Yeah. Or he was really worried that we weren't be able to weren't going to be able to carry him back mm. one of the two. So he's just filling up on some snacks. Um, we're going to sign off on that on that video there, and we're going to hopefully um, it's probably a bit loud here to do the car review. We'll find somewhere to do do a bit of a um, tour around the car, so we can show you how we um, how we pack it, how Timo fits, what sort of origami we need to do with him to get him in the back, and um, and yeah, go from there. Hope you enjoy, guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>